Hey, what is up guys? Inferno Central here, and welcome back to another comic dub video. The following comic dubs are voiced over by me and my friends. We have permission from the comic artists themselves. Make sure you check them out, along with our featured voice actors. Thank you for listening, and enjoy the video! Congrats on the We Don't Talk About Bruno being a hit, Tio! Is it? Oh well, thank you. Although I didn't sing it. I don't know. Wouldn't it have been better to sing something a little bit more fun and positive about Bruno? Do you think so too? Aww. Mama, calm down. It's okay. I know a lot of people who became huge Bruno stands thanks to that song. Stands? Yeah, at first, they thought he was going to be a villain. But in the end, they found him to be a pretty cute guy. And now they're obsessed with him. Cute? I assume wow. my part in the song must have contributed quite a bit to that, right? Camilo, you sang nothing but lies. Don't you think you owe Tio Bruno an apology? It's not lying if you think it's true when you say it. Still, your fact-gathering skills leave much to be desired. Shame on you, little brother. <gasps> well, all in all, the bottom line is... We did a great yeah. job, family. No need to thank us. Uh, thanks. You don't have to thank them. I have to! I gave him my stuffed animal. Don't you think lending your room was more important? Nope. Hmm. Um. Mm. Mm. Casita, don't you think my clothes look a bit empty? I'm not as good as Isabella, but I think I can use some decoration. <gasps> I know. I'll add some embroidery. Casita, can you give me some needle and thread? All right. That's enough material to embroider anything. First of all, Mirabelle. Yes, I'm coming. I have to go, Casita. Huh? What? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we add this here and then we add Casita, this here. I'm here! Looks like we're having vegetable soup for dinner tonight! My mom bought a lot of potatoes and... Mirabelle! Surprise! By the way, is Isabella trapped in your arms, Luisa? Oh, when she heard you were coming, she tried to jump out the window, so I grabbed her. I see. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Hola, amigo! What are you doing around here? <laughs> what do you want, Chefe? Well, since you're asking... I need you to use your vision to tell me my future with Peppa. What? Absolutely not! I don't do visions of my family. <sighs> I wasn't asking. So, about that vision... Fine. Incredible. Well, look at that. Guess this relationship is doomed. Gracias. You just did me a huge favor, Bonito. Adios! Peppa is going to kill me. Draw seven. Where's Bruno? I'm waiting in the dark corners of your dreams. Or what do you see? Somewhere in his casita, his room, I guess. Hmm. One of his rats <gasps> is dead. She told me to bring her to him. Take the left stairs and don't let the adult see you holding her. Okay. Gracias, Dolores. Is any of that a little concerning to you? Dio can handle it fine. He's good at this sort of thing. Okay, if you say so. Draw eight. Bruno? What? Oh. Hola, Antonio. It's, uh... It's Tio Bruno. Not that I really care, but... Peppa might get mad if you don't use the proper... Ah! Your rat is dead. She wanted you to have her. 
Oh, Rosa, did she tell you what I'm supposed to do? No, she said I should bring her to you because you don't eat rats and her family will. And she's afraid of being eaten. Okay, guess I'll bury her with the rest. Um, Bruno? Yeah? I'm sorry for making you sad. It's... It's never your fault. Actually... Thank you for telling me about Rosa. Wanna come along? I can... Tell you about the rats. <laughs> <sighs> They'll... Eat anything. But don't give them chocolate. Or coffee. How many are under there? Oh, dozens. I've been keeping them for decades. Will there be more to bury? Yes. I don't like that. Neither. There. All done. What are you do up to? Hi, Mama. Tia, Bruno, and I buried a rat. Uh. Go wash your hands, Babito. Okay, Mama. Uh. <laughs> Bruno, what were you thinking? He's already had a hard enough time with other kids. The last thing he needs is... To turn out like me? Yeah, I noticed that. Uh. that that's not a vision, by the way. It's not your fault, Pero you're right. He is turning out a lot like you, and I couldn't protect you back then. I could barely understand you, and now I can't protect him either. Hey, you'll be fine. <laughs> Especially with you and Felix in this corner. You'll do fine. Not perfect, but you'll do better than any of us ever did. It's still stormy. Would it be us if it isn't, eh? So, what you said about his future? Is that a vision, Brunito? Oh! <laughs> As if I need a vision to know that. <laughs>